Hi, in this session we will see what are the different events in a model for program. So basically there are four types of events, PBO, PAI, POV and POH. The PBO module is the process before output. This event get triggered every time before displaying of the screen. Second, we have PAI, process after input. Whenever any user command trigger, whether user click of uh, user has click on a button, user press a function key, or user press enter, the PAI module gets triggered. Third one is a POV, process on value help request. Generally, we uh, we make use of the search help at the data element level, but in case if you want to provide any runtime assistant for the uh, for the help values, then you can use make of POV. Fourth one is the POH that is process on F1 help request. If you pro if you want to provide any kind of help in terms of documentation, we can make use of POH module. So have a look at the, the program how it looks actually. So this is the screen program. Let's show me on the screen first. <coughs> this is our program zzemp underscore master, and this is our screen. So in the screen flow log flow logic, we can see all the modules are there. First one is the PBO, second one is the process after input, third one is the process on value request, and fourth one is the process on help request. PBO and PAI input, those two models by default created when you are creating a new screen. But the process on value request and process on help request, those two modules we have to add in the coding if you require it. So first let have a look at uh, PBO module. As I explained you, this model get trigger before displaying of the screen. So put a debugger here. So here I have one debugger. Second one debugger will put in the user command PAI model. We have one debugger here. Now execute our program. Enter the employee ID. Now we can see before displaying of the screen, the the debugger has started where it is we are in the pbo model process before upload model so this means that before displaying of the screen the pbo get triggered now we can see our screen is displayed so this is called the pbo model so anything we want to perform any operation before display of the screen that all we can do in the pbo process before upload model the second one is the process after input. Now let me just press enter. So as soon as I press enter, you can see the process after input module get triggered. Even I just press enter key. You can see the say form is blank. When it is blank, generally for the enter key, it becomes as blank. Now what happened? Now here it is a PBO mod PAI model process after input. Now first system will go through the PAI module. Here I have not written any logic on the enter command. After finishing the PAI logic, again it goes to the PBO logic. So every time before displaying of the screen, PBO module get triggered. See again, again it is in the PBO module. Okay, so in this way we have seen how the process before output and process after input module get trigger now where to use the process on on value request in most of the cases we provide the search help at the like here for the designation uh, field I have a search help so we can assign the, uh, this search help at the data element level we can also use <coughs> Or Dropbox list. So those search helps either we can assign. Let me first talk to debugger. So either we can have the values at the domain level. So in this case, in search help, those values come automatically. Second, we can create a search help and assign to field and assign to field at the data element level. Search help. But what if you don't want to ask, uh, if you don't have a domain and also we are not assigned any search help here. So in this case, we can make use of 
POV module process on value request. So let's go here. So generally, as I told you, we need to add this manually. So we have to add the process on value request like this. Process on value request. Okay. So like this, we need to add one line. Now, on which field we can assign the value have at the field level. So I want to assign for the field GS underscore employee master for the field designation. So whenever user uh, user click on F4 help for the field designation, I want to provide custom values. So here I'm creating model get underscore designation. Double click here. In my program I already created. So generally we need to create this model. So let me comment this first so you can see in detail. Let me comment this. Now here I will comment. Now go back to our screen. Now we are providing a value help for this field. Designation. Double click here. Create yes. Yes. Press enter. So we can see the model is created on the screen. I will just copy my code. So here first I am defining my internal table. Do a type declaration begin of TP underscore designation. And I have only one column designation design. Type our table name designation. ZZMP underscore master designation. And then I have defined an internal table of this type go back go back now what i am doing i am appending the first value as junior consultant then a senior consultant let's add one more value the designation is team lead now call this function model go to pattern enter the function model name so we can see the function model all the variable like this now in the return field what we want to return designation from this table we have only one column as designation so in the return field which field we want to return for the search head so we want to return this field for which program Side program and system screen. Now, when from the search help, this value will get returned on the screen for which value we want to assign this field. So, on the screen, we have gs underscore mp underscore master designation. So, here we want to assign the return value and this internal table pass here value underscore tab. Say check and activate. Go back to our screen. We have for this field execute, execute. Let me delete the debugger. Execute. You can see our screen now. Where we have assigned our process POE module for the field designation. As soon as we press F4, we can see one, two, three values. Double click on any value, it is written here. Okay, now it put a debugger to observe the observe this POE model. Go to our screen. I think it is in deactivate mode. Activate the screen. Here we can put debugger. Press the debugger here. Now again execute. Now we have assigned POE for this model uh, for this field. 
okay so only here we can see the search help option for qualification we are not assigned so here we cannot see this f4 help so as soon as we press the f4 help press the function key f4 so we can see our module which we have designed for getting a designation get trigger so here all the values are append in internal table there might be some cases you can write any logic not necessary we just append the values manually here we, we might have some different z table from where we want to fetch some value depending on some other condition of the screen so we can also select from internal table we can also select from the database table so here for example i am putting just manually all the values then system call this function model now let's observe the value for this field first currently it is blank okay we are here right now i will just press f6 f7 button hmm. so we can see the pop-up window here oh i think we have to come out from the debugger let me start seeing a consultant so that value get passed here so in this way we can implement the pov model <coughs> you can see the values is assigned here so in this way we have implemented the pov model now last one is the process on help request so generally whenever on the screen really on the screen if you press f1 button so generally this help comes from the data element this value comes from the data element okay let me put on the ctc press f1 button so we can see amount in local currency so from where this documentation is coming so either we can assign the f1 help at the data element level go to our table this is data element dmbtr here go to documentation so we can see that value are, are coming from here that pop up box coming from here and if you have a customized uh, data element let's say i have my data element is that qualification double click here so here i have added my own uh, text so we can change this also go to documentation Let me put uh, add some new value here. MCA. Save and activate. So if we have a documentation at the data element level, so whenever on the screen, if you press F1 button, so we can see that documentation is coming here okay but what uh, suppose we don't have any documentation at the field level and we want to provide it manually in very rare case it is required nowadays but as this is part of our training so i'm just explaining how to use that okay so we'll see how to implement the process on value help process on help request go to our screen add this line process on help request for which field i'm assigning I'm assigning to the screen field gs underscore emp underscore manager for the manager field i am providing one f1 help request double click here you need to create this model now add there are multiple ways of providing f1 help so i am using one short method here first you need to declare the internal table gt underscore text so declare one internal table gt underscore text type table of t line initial size is one and gs underscore text as work area of t line go back always refresh first now i'm just appending td format as ui and td line is f1 help demo 
in second i'm just entering select the checkbox if employee is a manager and then i'm calling this function module copo underscore pop up to display list just go here enter pattern we can assign any title just give me f1 help for manager okay in the table we need to point in our table in which we append the values as i explained you this is one of the method there are many other method of assigning the f1 help one method is that in the ac61 we can create the text now here we have append the values in the gt underscore text model and we are displaying the f1 help to this function model go to our program now we have provided f1 help to the manager field so let me press f1 here so as soon as we press the f1 so we can see the f1 help demo select the checkbox if employees a manager let me correct the sentence go back go back select the checkbox if employee is a manager we'll add one more line if employee is not manager uncheck don't select the checkbox so this value we want to display you can go here press f1 so we can see f1 help demo this is title select the checkbox if employee is a manager if employee is not manager don't select the checkbox so in this way we can implement the the pov process on value request and the process on help request in a model program as i explained you earlier whenever you are creating a sprint the first two modules are created by default but those we module if we required then we have to create it manually on the screen so in this way we have finish our next session on the events all module for programming so we have finished this topic today events in the module programming thank you